You know, when you wake up in the morning and just the thought of the working day ahead sucks the will to live out of you, or worse, the feeling of dread the night before lying in bed, thinking about that work task, because deep down you know it's probably meaningless, you spend most of your awake time online, working on a screen, in meetings with colleagues. And yet you often feel disconnected, not grounded, like you're missing a sense of purpose. These are very common feelings, and I was there myself. But then I thought, what if we could channel all this energy and time into something we actually care about? Everything changed when I started working for a climate organization. I found a youthful, driven, passionate international community of professionals determined to make the future a better place, propelled by activism, hope, and fundamentally a profound love for what they do. I want to talk to you today about how that could be your journey too, and how growing the global climate workforce could be the best tool we have to fix our climate crisis. Let's go back for a moment to that miserable place I was describing earlier. Let's just pic picture this. You're working, editing some slides, a spreadsheet, or working on a new um, marketing strategy for a client. You stop for a moment and realize that outside, the planet is burning, literally. News of our climate breakdown is finally and sadly making headlines everywhere. Words that meant nothing to you before are starting to make sense now, like net zero emissions, 1.5 degrees, decarbonization, emission reduction plans. What blows my mind is that climate models made in the 70s turned out to be accurate in predicting today's situation. They fully captured the extent of global warming and its impacts, such as the frequency of floods and wildfires. Isn't that scary? Today's climate models with increased computing powers and better understanding of climate, or climate systems will likely prove to be even more accurate in forecasting a much hotter and more unstable our climate we get, will get in our lifetimes. With current policies, we're heading towards an estimated 2.8 degrees Celsius of warming this century alone, with devastating effects to our lifestyles, economies, and ecosystems. These could very well be the coolest summers of the rest of our lives. All of us, we need to drastically cut emissions of those gases that are altering our delicate climate in virtually everything, everything that we do. Now or it will be too late. And there we are, staring at our little screen, feeling even a new type of existential anxiety mounting and with it, a sense of urgency, a call to action. You feel powerless and yet invested, resourceful, curious. That's when you should join the great climate workforce. Yes, you can be better at recycling, and you should by now, frankly. You need to eat more plant-based food, and absolutely, yes, vote for those politicians who put the climate on top of their agenda. But building a career or making a career move now to solve the climate emergency will be one of the best actions you can take. It helped me turn climate anxiety into optimism too. It's a huge morale boost to work in line with your values and see at work every day that there are solutions to this crisis. They're available, they're almost universally affordable. Research shows that there is a significant gap between the anxiety that Gen Z feels about climate change and the actions they take to reduce their emissions. So I'm thinking, 
what's more hopeful and effective than inspiring and investing an entire generation to become climate workers and professionals, ensuring from their workplace that we stand on a livable pl planet 50, 100 years from now. I get asked over and over again, Virginia, how can I fight climate change at work? Where do I start? You have two options. Option one is to take action on climate within your own workplace, wherever that may be. There's a growing global movement asking for every job to be a climate job. If you're a healthcare worker, make sure your hospital has a net zero strategy guiding estates to purchase or generate 100% of renewable electricity. If you work for a larger corporation, say financial services, IT or retail, join or set up a green task force with colleagues demanding your company's leadership to publicly support ambitious climate legislation, to switch its fleet to 100% electric, or to have climate competent board members at the very top. If you work for a smaller company, take trains, not planes, for work trips and ask, is my employer reducing emissions enough or relying excessively on planting trees? The list goes on, but you see my point. There's plenty you can do at work. It will require time, dedication and energy, but the impact it can have on the system is immense. But if you are entering the labor market or feeling unfulfilled, restless, even a little bored by your current job prospects, go for option two. Find a job that makes climate issues your entire workday. Those hours working on a slides deck might find new meaning if used to deliver a project that promotes deforestation-free livestock in Peruvian communities. Those long hours working on strategy papers and meetings might spark your creativity if used to support a regional government to implement a plan to reach net zero emissions. Right, but I'm not a climate expert, you might think. Not to worry, climate organizations need and, are, and require all sorts of skill sets, from communications to project management. Advocacy to data analysis, marketing to graphic design, strategy to stakeholder engagement. Private, public, and non-governmental climate employment is growing faster than ever. Just looking at NGOs, 3,024 not-for-profits observed the last round of UN climate negotiations. Double the number from 10 years ago. In the corporate space, Green talent is in high demand. According to LinkedIn, sustainability manager is the second fastest growing job title here in the UK. And then, get this, more than 130 nations have set or proposed a net zero emission goal to be reached in the next 27 years. But reaching net zero emissions require transformative changes across every aspect of our economies. Highly skilled workforce is needed to get us there, including scientists, project managers, asset managers, engineers, policy makers, technicians. Companies and governments worldwide are increasingly on the lookout for these jobs. The time to act on climate change was yesterday. There is so much that needs to get done. And watching this incredible transformation to a greener, healthier, net zero society isn't as satisfying as doing it. Your creativity, ingenuity, and passion to fix our broken climate at your workplace today will go a long way. You can be the climate conscious workforce of the future and your planet needs you more than ever.